Hello, hello, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, when we left off, we had just learned a little bit about the the travel or the ancient thief Misko and where some of his treasures were stored. And uh sorry, just fixing my hair a little. Yeah, well, I think I want to see what's in that cave straight ahead of us. We were heading towards Kokoriko Village beforehand in search of uh, anything of interest. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. Get a weapon on hand. Um... Okay, we got the big guy, and that's the one I'm worried about. Fuse attack power arrangement. Let's throw this bad boy on. Ah, yeah. shit, didn't get the shield up fast enough. Yep. Yeah. It's going for another swing. Oh shit, good shield. They headbutt now, that's a new move. They didn't do that previously. Woo! Uh, attack, attack, increase attack. Okay, so it specifically recommends putting those ones on arrows, which is interesting. Right, let's go grab the arrow we lost. I like that you uh, don't lose your resource if the arrow misses, you know. Ooh, we got uh, some treasure. What do we got in here? Old soldier's broadsword. Uh, it's a light handle, makes it easy to handle, and enables quicker charge attacks. Okay, let's replace something, I think. Yeah, let's replace this. Because I should be able... ...to do something much better. I don't want to do the diamond. Let's go with this. Ooh, wrong power. Attach it to the broadsword. Oh, wow, it's super fast. Okay, that's awesome. I really gotta experiment a lot with the crafting mechanics, I think. Yeah, this, like... That's super good. Still not sure what uh, what was good to attach to a shield. You know what I mean? I feel like this is looking like a monster camp is built in here. I love that the caves do that so often. Raru Hillside Cave. All right, that's just a like like. We'll leave it alone. All right, is it a like like? I got to remember, I have this now. Yep, like, like, my theory was correct. What a goober. And, you know, I realized I have not been reading my compendium. So let's, let's read some of our entries. Uh, found mostly within Hyrule Field and East Includia. They drop like, like stones and arrows. Uh... A monster that has been appearing all over Hyrule in recent days, found dwelling in caves and other dark places. It has an appetite for swords and shields. If you get too close, it may lunge at you with its mouth wide, swall er, swallow you whole, and eat your equipment. The tongue in the center of its mouth is very sensitive. Attacks to it make the creature fal falter. Alright. Uh, what do we got? No cre wildlife. Uh... 
Dazzle Fruit, Fuse of One, Heart Recovery of One. That's very... Oh my god, the listing of what it does when you cook is amazing. Found in Hyrule Field in Gerudo Highland. This compendium is amazing. A fruit charged with, the power, with a powerful light. Break it open to unleash dazzling sparks that blind nearby monsters. Traveler's Sword. Uh, common locations unknown. A very common sword, often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's fairly durable, but is unreliable against monsters. Uh, okay. Oh, and you know what? Rare ore. And... Hang on. Regular ore deposit. And let's go read those. Uh, oh, the types of things it drops. So you can't get diamonds for- oh no, you can get diamonds, my bad. Great Hyrule. Or Greater Hyrule. The- this deposit contains a good deal of ore. Breaking the rock will yield rock salt, flint, and other ore minerals of varying, of varying value. Ah, uh, that remove this one doesn't drop salt. Still drops flint though. It also doesn't drop opal or amber. Oh no, it does still drop amber. Uh, this deposit contains a good deal of precious ore and occasional rare mineral, like rupee sapphire and sapphire. Break it open, see what it has to offer. Cool. Rock? No, you can't put rocks in a compendium. Ooh, that's tar. Okay. Let me... Where are my bomb flowers? What is going on here? We got another goofy frog boy. And hang on. Luminous stone. Come on. Uh, this deposit contains quite a bit of luminous stone. Crack it open. Yep, okay. Hey, buddy. I like the compendium. We didn't use it a lot in the last game, but, like, I think I'm going to enjoy doing a lot with it in this one. Especially because there's a lot of things that are brand new to me. Uh, alright. So this is basically just for lights. A seed that's found underground. When struck, it will take root and bloom, radiating a large amount of light from from a big flower. Yeah, we're dealing with a monster camp here. Alright, what are these things called? Horblins. Ugh, they're fucking grody. Uh, Hyrule Caves, Elden Canyon Depth. Okay. Uh, after the upheaval, these monsters began appearing in Hyrule Cave Systems. They have sturdy horns that are perfect for crushing rocks and stone, muscles that allow them to traverse cave wall, uh, walls and ceilings, uh, and easily, er, as easy as if they were walking on the ground. They often hang from ceilings, waiting for prey. Shit, they've, they've spotted me. Not what I meant to attach. What the fuck? That one's blue. Ah, oh, shit. Can't- Oh! Woo! Uh, wrong- wrong thing. No, stop, Link. Uh, uh, uh. Fumbling with the controls. Yeah. 
Get down here. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of fighting again. Blue Horblin Horn, a hammerhead. Oh, here's a question. Not what I was trying to do. No, okay. Not what I meant to do. Uh, uh moderate increased attack power, crooked to or with a critter to make an elixir. Oh, you know what's really nice is I can't. Oh, hang on. Let's, uh, I guess. Long stick. Oh, these are two sticks put together, isn't it? All right, let's let's read the the entry on a long stick. <laughs> uh, to Panther Frontier and Hepper Mountains, a long stick fashioned from a tree branch. Its straight shape makes it uh, work well as a lunge weapon. Rusty halberd. Uh, a rusty pole arm, likely used by knights from ages past. The spearhead is uh, in bad shape due to pro its prolonged exposure to the elements. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, what I was thinking just now, I can actually easily pull this out in order to detect where loot is now. You got a highlight loot ability, which is really nice. <laughs> Come on. Okay, you can't really swing things into each other that well, actually. Any good loot? No? Oh! Hang on. I can't just pull the chest down. There we go. Yeah, so because these guys climb on ceilings, they store their loot high up. That's neat. Lizzle Spear. That's amazing. Alright, you know what? Let's drop our leaf. And let's go ahead and make a fusion out of that. Actually, let's wait until we're using a weapon to fuse something to it. Oh, wait, but that might not be... It might not always work out well for me. Because there might not always be a good chance. Very cool. It's highly durable. You know what? If it's highly durable... What is going on there? On sort by... Power attack fusion. I was gonna use the diamond, but I decided against it. Oh! It's already fused with a thing. A Lizelfo horn. Oh, it's a sturdy stick with a horn, I see. Why is there great fairy stuff here? Or why is there is it why is this like a fairy pond? That's very interesting that it's just a fairy pond here in the middle of the forest. Or in the middle of a cave. Easy mistaken for a firefly first. Yep, yep. Come on. Come on, little fairy. Flutter just a little lower. Thank you. Why is there this here? Hmm. Underneath a military training camp. Come here. Come here, little fairy. Link, you jumped sideways instead of towards the fairy. Damn it. 
All right, let's do a little bit of mining. Ooh, topaz. Uh, powered by electricity, which is high price. Yeah. All right. And let's press on, I suppose. So fascinating. That was just a fairy pond here. Oh, wait, that, that's... That's not water. Gotta be careful. All right. Almost broken my rock hammer. Hmm, so you know what? What do we want to fuse into our new hammer? Hang on. I haven't gotten a description on these bad boys yet. I'm curious what it will say about durability and all of that. Uh, although now decayed, this lightweight weapon material was made by royal soldiers because it's light and it's a handle and it's quick charge attacks. Okay. Let's just get a stick. And I need a big old rock. Mining uh, beer. What, what is that actually labeled as, I wonder? Rock sledge. Yep, it's still a rock sledge. Oh, I didn't mine the material in here? How did I not do that? Thank you. <coughs> this is one of the places Raru highlighted. Raru's highlighting fucking... You don't always I think he's highlighting the... Somebody a while ago was telling me to shoot one, and now that I think about it, they look like a bloopy. Oh, hang on a second. Let's identify what it is. Bubble frog. Come on, I'm just trying to get your picture. All right. Bro drops bubble gems. These mysterious creatures dwell in the caves all around high, all around the world. They like to stay hidden, uh, and or and will spew bubbles when threatened. When overcome, they disappear and leave behind a mysterious object. So I'm not gonna kill him if I do this. Is what that's telling me. I just want to see what your mysterious object does. And a bloopy comes out. A strange crystal left by a defeated bullfrog in, uh, bubble frogs in caves. Its eerie blue go may entice you to collect even more. Interesting. Interesting. So it's like a shape shifting bloopy. Okay. Now I'm tempted. Alright, let's get out of here. That was an interesting experience, experiment. And maybe that's what he was highlighting. Maybe Satori wants me to do something to those frogs. Hmm. All right, let's get back over to the road. What is that? I, del uh, I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the calamity. So there's multiple of these put around. Alright, I'm gonna... What do I have that I can add into this? Hang on. Where is it? 
uh, most used. Here we go. My edition. Oh my god, that thing's fucking horrifying. Alright, you know what? We're at the 20 minute mark. So. Let's, hang on. Next time on Tears of the Kingdom. We'll continue our adventure. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you have, and cards will be appearing in a moment. Click on this, continue watching. Love all you very much, and ta-ta for now.